We got Razo versus AC, both really good players, veterans of uh, some of the characters I like to play. Razo, Peach slash Daisy main, played Peach in Smash 4, he was really good with her, and now he's just doing even better now that Peach is better. Mm -hmm. And AC, he piloted both Meta Knight and Snake, and he's just been making waves with both of them in San Diego. So both great players, and I just can't wait to see how these two go uh, against each other. These are some of the best representatives of their characters in uh, SoCal. Mm -hmm. I mean, Razo especially, I mean, he is, what, he's top 10 on the, on the SoCal PR? Like, he's yeah. been putting in work, my dude. He's so, he's so scary. Yeah, uh, you don't have to tell me that. I got that uh, first-hand experience against him. Oh, uh, you played him? Oh, yeah, I had to play him. Uh, he was a, uh, <laughs> you know, I played Wolf, and that's a, that's a character he knows how to punish. You know, he's played a Wolf or two. Oh, that's all I'll say. Nice. <laughs> but anyways, getting into this match already, looks like AC getting a chance to set up his zone, get a lot of projectiles out. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, you know, you, you, pull, you pull out all these grenades and you stuff out, a, a, you know, a daisy that's already kind of slow, barring that, uh, that that burst movement that she has with the, uh, with the side B, with the daisy bomb. But, you know, with all of these C4s and grenades and whatnot, sometimes it's going to be tough for Raza to keep up with it all. Mm -hmm. And like we saw, he barely died into that C4 at like 100% on the ground. This, this matchup looks so interesting because it looks like Peach should win, but Peach has to do so much to get around the grenades with her floats every, anyways. And getting hit by one, it just it takes so much damage. The the mental fortitude you have to have to take on a snake as a peach, it has to be enough to defend a castle. Like, the mental fortitude you have to do to do either these matchups on either side, it just looks like so much brain work. You constantly have to adapt and come up with new tricks on the fly. And especially the big thing AC has to be scared of is if he ever goes off stage, that grenade coming in to save him with the C4 at center, starting to build up this damage. Yeah, look at the way AC is playing. He is he's kind of moving. Yeah, no, dude, this movement is really good. A big, a big slap from the Daisy Fair coming in, finally taking off that stock, only 50%. We know that is nothing to Daisy. Yeah. Yeah, one hit, that's even. Yeah, we've seen, we've seen Razo earlier up against uh, YMCA put on like a like a quick 70 with two openings in neutral. Oh, no. Like, that's it. Thank God for that grenade being there or else, you know, AC would probably be in 100 by now. And that's a big part of AC's plan. Of course, you know, that grenade will generate frame one. And sometimes if Daisy's like really inside and maybe tries to get a meaty hit of an aerial, you know, that grenade will come in and save your life. Mm -hmm. Especially what's important, like you said, Ooh. you want to get that grenade out and be near it when uh, Daisy is floating at you. So if she does get one of her combo hits, she can't like fully extend. She has to be wary of that. Sometimes that extra bit of like, oh, I need to think about that. Is it time to pull out the grenade? Or your time to get out of this nasty combo that she's trying to put you in. Yeah. I mean, one of the best ways to get away is to just go as high as possible. Of course, Snake is one of the few characters in this game that can reliably just go way up in that top blast zone. That C4, that sneaky setup was so good for him. And because he's been able to evade these huge punishes, he can just continue to rack up the damage while Razo tries to break the zone. He's got Stitch, though. Yeah, he got Stitch. Snipe of the century. Yeah. 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 Chase him all the way back, dude. Razo zeroed to death me earlier with the Stitch base. And I was, I, was, I was a little bit mad about it until I realized that I can't do anything about RNG, so I was like, all right, that was sick anyways. I swear. <laughs> I, I swear, playing against a Peach, like, ain't it? you just get so angry once they get, like, that Stitch, that Dot Eyes, that Mr. Saturn. You're like, I knew it was going to happen, but did, did it have to? Yeah, it did, it, did it really have to? And then you just got to remember, well, things are inevitably not going to go my way sometimes, so this may as well be happening. Ooh, Razo gonna get blown up by that grenade. Oh, we're kidding about the C4. Mm -hmm. I think I don't think Razo is paying enough attention to the C4 and looking at where it is. But to AC's credit, he's been really sneaky with it. He's been doing these high up Bs, throwing off the C4, and then throwing off other grenades to like throw him off guard. And particularly where he put that C4 was so good because he was probably very high up in the air when he dropped it, placed it right on the black of that Pokeball so that once the blinking red light was gone, virtually unseeable unless it's a butterfly C4. And Razo is not looking out for it. Yeah. That's another thing. You, you always have to keep track of that C4. Razo, Razo got blown up for not doing that a couple times. He, that match. he he lost his first two of his stocks to it, and the third was just to an up tilt. He took so he took a lot of damage from not realizing where the C4 was in this first game. So, hmm. got to do a better job of keeping track of it. And uh, I believe he picked final destination if I was seeing right. So I did not see it. I was. Unfortunate, but you know what? We're gonna find out. Yeah, well, we're about to find out. But either way, I expect that the that the stage choice that Razo would have would uh, be trying to reduce the amount. Okay, back in Pokemon Stadium too. I just say that you know try to try to reduce a little bit of the ability of AC to run away and throw all of these projectiles because once he starts doing that, Peach, like we said, gonna have trouble getting in on him and just gonna have to apply a lot of safe dinky pressure until he can land a hit. Mm -hmm. Starting off, AC. Wait a minute. What are you? Ooh. What was the plan there? <laughs> Dude, I gotta tell you, I don't think the plan was forward smash in center stage. 
Jensen. I don't know what kind of read you're going for, but I'm going to have to ask you about it later. I want to know. <laughs> Give me the deeds. Okay, air dodge to ledge. Raza was ready for it. Now he could go low, but that Cypher Wait, what? being safe. Wait a minute. I don't I don't know if he wanted to do, like, jump, reverse, grenade, up B. That was just a re-grab, and I think that was, no. I, I believe that was a misinput. Yeah, no, AC, uh, in his in his earlier set that he was playing, he had a he had a movement tech where he would uh, do a drop jump at the ledge and then do a B reverse grenade to, so that he could smooth land on stage and have the grenade behind him so that if somebody tried to aggressively go push him at the ledge, it would get blown up by the grenade and he could get back on stage. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah that's just that thing that happens sometimes. But it's a very technical thing to try to pull off. It's a very tight frame window, so that AC messed it up is not entirely surprising, even if he is good. It's a tough thing to pull off. Yeah, there's a lot of lot, lot of tech that snakes can do, but they just don't because of like the the tech skill required and like doing it in the heat of battle. If you mess up, there's a huge punish involved. So it really is that risk reward. Oh, no. oh I didn't see that either, for being honest. Yeah, Razo did not see that C4 in center stage either. Once again, like you said, this has been a big problem for Ooh. him so far. He just wants him to drop it. Butterfly C4 as well on this platform. Razo's going to be wary of it. Get back to the center of their back to the edge of the stage. We'll see how he tries to bust this zone of the snake. He's still up a stock, so he doesn't necessarily have to. Exactly. I know. Oh, trying to maybe trying to bring the Nikita back to actually hit the peach. But, you know, going to get punished. Not going to get hit by the turn up there. Ooh, AC barely able to get back on with his life right there. Raza was looking for something immediately at the ledge, a get-up attack or a neutral get-up. But, you know, all the way up at the top of that stage. Oh, my gosh. He threw out the... Uh, he threw out the seat. He did... What's it called? He did Nikita, then C4, and then while he was getting hit, he actually blew up the C4, so he actually traded. Mm -hmm. That was so tricky from AC. You see right here getting tricky with the grenades, too. The building up the damage of those nades is one of the reliable ways that he can start making this comeback. 159, Razor's just looking at straight dot hits eyes. to take the stock. Not going oh to die, but he actually caught the dot as again. Yeah, so he still oh, got it, but now it bad. belongs to AC. Oh, we're carrying catch <laughs> now. Not going to kill yet, though. Yo, son, let's go to the backyard. Let's have a catch. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, unfortunately, that uh, a lot of a lot of Peach's aerials will just auto-break Cypher. Nair, back air, and fair, both all they all will break it. Mm -hmm. So Peach has no trouble just going into that space like we saw right there and just edgeguarding Snake for free. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the damage threshold is 8% to break Cypher? Yeah, you have to do more than 8% to break it. Okay, yeah. So uh, it doesn't matter about knockback. So you, in theory, you can just, like, take a limit finishing touch and, you know, Nothing it, can happen. It'll to you. do nothing, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the waste, nerd. <laughs> but you know, speaking of not not speaking of waste, but this this lead that Razo had before he lost that first stock was really, really big. Again, that C4 is so big for AC. Razo just hasn't been able to keep his eyes on it so much because he's trying to figure out his spacing with AC. And especially once AC takes all the way to the top of the skies, Razo wants to try to catch the landing, but he's not paying attention because he just wants to punish the snake. Mm -hmm. So much you have to pay attention to. I, I think, uh, and I think Razo is paying more attention to his character because that's kind of what you need to do as Daisy. You need to pay attention to your spacing, where you are, and what you can do. And so having to take having to take into account not only your character, what you have to have a lot of brain power for, then you have to pay attention to Snake, and that could be a lot sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, forward tilt at ledge. Yeah, that's going to be a big setup AC's for him. He's brought this all the way back. Oh, wow. what a recovery from Razo. Pardon me. Oh, my God. Not, not the floor cancel back air. The, you can't do anything about this back air. The only thing you can do about it is pull a grenade and hope. He tries to get a little cheeky with the up air. Again, AC swinging for it. He knows one hit or one good hit, and he's going to got to get this kill. Roll. Oh, all these projectiles. He's got a great setup right now on the Oh, does tries it. to kick it, but the downer doesn't come out. It's a very nice comeback there from AC. Knew what he had to do, and as long as he set up that projectile zone and, you know, kept Razo in the air, keep him from landing, he's in a great situation. If you're being honest, I'm sweating from how tense that was. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, down to, down to the wire where Razo had a really good lead, but... AC, you know, one of those snakes where it's just clutch as you come, you continue to execute your game plan and you'll be good. Mm -hmm. So now up 2-0. Razo's going to have to make a change. Obviously now with the character, he's very dedicated to being a solo main, but, you know, if it's, if it's not going to be the stage change, right, it's got to be a change in the game plan and more importantly, how he's going to take these stocks because in a majority of these times, it's been AC, even when he's off stage, living to an extremely high percent. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we, we, we have been seeing Snake live to a, a very high percent. And that is credit to AC, just knowing how to survive, knowing what to do. 
I mean, in particular, you having that uh, that Peach Daisy experience, right? Where if he's off stage, he's not getting totally messed up by Daisy going off stage. He's mid making Raza respect him when he's out there. Yeah, yeah. Throw that, throw that Mr. Sonic away. That's a wait. Was that a bomb? No, that was a grenade. No, no, no. He picked up a grenade. I definitely. No, I saw it in the round uh, thing. But anyways, uh, Raza was telling me he's like, if you don't know what to do with Mr. Sonic, throw it away. Because I promise you, the Peach will know what to do with it more than you will. Oh, she has a good that stitch face too. Talk about the RNG that Raza's had so far. He's <laughs> actually pulled everything now. Yeah, no, he's he's got the whole thing, man. Rest in peace, Beam Sword. God, I would not be okay if she could pull Beam Sword in this game. <laughs> It's a, it's a good item too. Mm -hmm. anyway, speaking of uh, speaking of good, is this lead that Razo has, and he just needs to again find this kill. Razo initially didn't see the C4, and AC tried to use that downer to see if he would maybe spot dodge, trying to DI or SDI out of it. But instead, Razo was able to get out of that situation, respecting the C4. But again, we see the snake 151%, and he's struggling because he can't chase him up top. He's got to find him on landing. This time, he does. Yeah, four cancel back. You're gonna hit through the grenade, do a little damage to Peach too. But I don't. I, I think what AC was hoping for was that the the back air and grenade would trade. So the fact that uh, ooh, wow, he actually put him off the stage. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's like kind of reminiscent of the uh, of like the fox down throw back in melee. At the oh yeah, I remember that. Or do, the, or do the meteor. Man, yeah, well, yeah. Once you down throw uh, off there, he just kind of falls off, and I think you do have time to just do an, uh, an up tilt. Did you see that when Raza was going to set up that Daisy combo to carry him across the stage, the frame one proc on the grenade actually made Razo pick up after the hit, made him pick up the grenade mid air and stop the combo from happening. That's gotta be a feel bad. Feels good for AC, man. He's able to keep yeah. himself healthy as a horse. Yeah, and that's what I was saying earlier. You just want to throw out those grenades so it'll mess up Daisy's combos. Go detonate C4 to get himself back to the ledge. So scary. Ooh, Razo. The quick stairmaster is gonna, gonna do some damage, but Razo, I mean Razo, AC is still bringing this back, 100 to 130, and Ooh. kicking him from behind with the up tilt of the Daisy Bomb. Are two very good moves. Colliding. Such a good anti here. Razo no, getting get another hit. bomb, but no, not gonna work out for him. I, I'm not gonna lie. I would have, I would have popped off if I just went up and just hit him. <laughs> it, it looked like it kind of like scraped the bottom of, of AC's boot, but he was like, I am just going to be okay Snake with this. Snake was probably like lifting his feet up like, please, don't <laughs> yeah, hit me. Yeah, he's like tucking up into a ball on the cypher. No, please. <laughs> so already Raz with 70%. AC, honestly, blink and you miss it, damage. But speaking of blink and you miss it, here's where the damage comes in. Oh my goodness, and he looked, was he looked for the low recovery from AC, tried to maybe set up for a drop off forwarder, but he wasn't ready to commit to it. Yeah, but who cares? Look at this damage. 81%, 74%, both of these characters are nearing those kill percents. Oh, great parry on the uh, tipper back air. Mm -hmm. Not something that we've been seeing a lot from either of these two guys, parries on the aerials. Yeah, we haven't seen much, many parries at all. It's just been raw aggression. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're, we're, we're getting the wall. Oh, oh he, he he tricked him up with the simple walk forward up smash. Yeah. Gets him every time. Yeah. <laughs> Razo, Razo didn't have time to, to walk away and pull a turnip to make him uh, respect the space because he was so close to the ledge. If he had pulled the turnip, that would have been an easy forward tilt.